Hello everyone. Uh, so I've got a new Surface Book. Thought it worked a lot better than my Surface Pro in rendering GoPro Fusion footage. Uh, but I later found that GoPro Fusion Studio doesn't even start in the latest Surface Book. Uh, apparently, I'm not the only one with this problem, and GoPro's literally just letting it go and call it it's deprecated. Well, very quickly, I was able to find a simple workaround to this error. I'll first demonstrate my symptoms so you can see if it's identical to yours. Then I'll briefly explain how I got to this solution. Uh, so you make sure it's nothing weird or suspicious. And finally, I'll show you that I got it fixed. What happens when I try to start the Fusion Studio is basically nothing. If you observe it through the process monitor, it appears on the process list for a very short amount of time, and then disappears. The same happens with GoPro VR player as well. I was able to locate the error log on the event viewer on Windows. It points out one DLL file called um, lippy, lip, E-A-Y, whatever that's called. I later googled it and it appears to be a SSL related library, which I thought is a minor thing in Fusion Studio. You can find the file in the installation path of Fusion Studio. Uh, all I've done is changing the, the name of it so the computer doesn't find it when it's launching Fusion Studio. And you'd probably want to do the same with VR Player so you can check the rendering result after we fix uh, the studio. Now, uh, hit the Fusion Studio icon and boom. It's finally showing up on my Surface Book. Uh, it says weird stuff about not finding the OS up to date, but come on. Surface Book 3 came out after Fusion was discontinued. I'll just pick any Fusion footage on my computer and see if Fusion Studio can actually do its job like it's supposed to. And there. Uh, things seems alright to me. I kind of don't understand why GoPro isn't willing to give this tiny support to their users. Uh, it could have been like super easy to resolve if they actually try to help. So I don't need to do all this by myself. Uh, but anyways, hope it helps those uh, who has got the same issue with Fusion Studio. There's one more thing that I want to mention here. Uh, when you close Fusion Studio and try to open it again, it occasionally doesn't work. I figured that in some occasions, the app isn't fully terminated and left running in background. If you find this happening, you can just simply go ahead, force close the process and run it again. It should work. 